One less mouth to feed, plus a receipt of huge herds of cattle and money. This has become the biggest trend in the remote areas of Toposa land as young girls are married off to older men. Community leaders here say girls face a huge risk of early and forced marriage as families struggle to survive. With poverty raging on across the country, many girls are faced with the devastating dichotomy, be sold into early marriage or watch as their families struggle with hunger as food crises continue to rise. St. Bakita Primary School in the eastern Equatoria's remote town of Narus has become a safe haven for teenage girls who escape from forced unions. The Minister of Environment and Forestry, Josephine Napon Cosmos, could not hold her tears when she visited the girls who have been put on a uniform for easier identification and care. Minister Napon said this practice in her community has robbed girls of their basic right to choose when and whom they get married to. And I want the concern of the First Lady Office to come here on the ground to help these children. Of course, some of them are still, some of them are fresh, some of them just came and their parents are still looking after them. Some of them, they have parents, some of them don't have. And some of our people have taken this uh, as an opportunity, especially those ones whose parents have died. Uh, there are those people who inherit. When your father dies, your brother, the brother of your father or whoever will, will, will inherit your, your mother, and then taking all of you as his properties. This is what is killing us in our communities. I feel bad because this is defilement of young children. Personally, I feel bad because I'm from this community. I think we have been talking to our people, but there is a bit of resistance. But I wish that the new elected Toposa community will take over and actually to give awareness to our people so that we stop these forced marriages and early marriages to our children. And we encourage them to bring their children to school. And I personally, uh, I really felt bad, and that's why you saw me crying before. Because uh, as a mother, you feel the pain, and it's, it's really shocking. The headmistress of St. Bakita Boarding Primary School, Sister Jane Masiko, said despite efforts by government and aid organizations to counter child marriage, the practice is still rampant in the region. Sister Jane called on well-wishers to come to the aid of the girls who are in dire need of psychosocial support. And the challenge we are getting, some of these girls, as they come, some are beaten, they come when they are half naked, full of wounds, we, we nurse them, we try to counsel them so that they overcome that trauma. Then from nowhere you see the parents also following the children to come and take them. So from time to time we are battling with the parents, going to police, going to the county, the education director, and the, in fact, I appreciate our government here in Narus, Kakweta East. They are behind the fight of reducing forced marriage. So when we go to them, they give assistance, they talk to the parents, they counsel the parents, then they leave their girls to keep in school. And the chairperson of the Toposa Community Association Paul Napon Yonai said he is acutely embarrassed by the manner in which underage girls are subjected to forced marriage at a time when they are not ready, both in body and mind, to handle the issues of marriage. Uh, we talk of early marriage, forced marriage, opposed to the culture of Toposa. This is the area where we need really to come in as elders, especially those people who have actually got light. In fact, I, as Otoposa, and one of the elders, I condemn this in total terms. But the problem is that ideology in the mind of our people, in the mindset of our people, is what we want to turn it, to become opposite to understand what we are talking about. Because their aspiration and their understanding to their economic 
uh, way of life, they tend to say they believe on children like this one, young girls like this, as a resource, or a resource of getting cows. They are limited. So uh, I will uh, try our level best in our community, as the chairman of the Topasa community, to embark mainly on mobilizing our people to understand the trend of the problems that our children are facing. UNICEF says South Sudan has the seventh highest prevalence rate of child marriage in the world, but officials in the government say this situation is set to rise as deepening poverty caused by COVID-19 pandemic could push more parents to marry off their daughters early and doing decades of work to end child marriage. Aleandro Lotok, SSBC News, Narus.